Hi everyone, Don Genova here with another edition of Foodie Friday for Russell Books. This week I want to tell you about two gourmet cookbooks. Why are they gourmet cookbooks? Well, because they both have gourmet in the title, but they're also both for specialized kinds of diets. The first one is called The Intolerant Gourmet, Glorious Food Without Gluten and Lactose. It's by Barbara Kafka. Barbara Kafka was a prolific cookbook author. I got to meet her a few times, got to interview her about the kind of work she does, and she was a big fan of the microwave, so there's some microwave recipes in here, and uh, also a big fan of roasting chickens and roasting pork, but these ones, these recipes are all, as she says here, gluten and lactose free. The first recipe I made in here was for a uh, roast pork tenderloin. The secret to this pork tenderloin is coating it with her five spice mix. And the five spices that she uses, star anise, turmeric, salt, allspice, and cayenne pepper. I have to tell you, it was a really nice day when I made this dish. I got it at the barbecue, fired it up, so I barbecued it instead of roasted it, but had really good results with it. Second recipe I made from here, uh, roasted cherry tomatoes with orange peel and cardamom as the spice. If you do make this recipe, I switched it up a little bit because I used cardamom seeds as she recommended. They didn't really cook that well, so they're a little bit too crunchy in there. So I would just use powdered cardamom instead of, the part of, uh, instead of the cardamom seeds, but the recipe worked out really well. Those tomatoes had a delicious sweet and uh, citrusy flavor to them, and then that cardamom adds a little something special. The next book is called The Guilt-Free Gourmet, Indulgent Recipes Without Sugar, Wheat, or Dairy. In this case, it's by Jordan and Jessica Burke, and they're a brother and sister team, originally from Dublin, Ireland. Jordan is a chef. He worked at Michelin-starred restaurants. His sister Jessica is a nutritional therapist, so a good combo for coming up with a book like this. I made uh, two recipes from here. They both happen to be on the same page. One was char-grilled asparagus. You know, asparagus is coming out now, whether it's from Mexico, it will soon be from British Columbia when we get that good weather together. So I can't resist having fresh, tasty asparagus. This was a char-grilled asparagus with walnut mayonnaise. And that makes it a little bit special. And you, along with the uh, walnut mayonnaise that you can either make from scratch or take some walnut oil, add it into some regular mayonnaise, along with some uh, grated zest of half a lemon, some sea salt, and a bunch of walnuts as well that you toss in there on the top. The second recipe right beside it, cannellini beans, avocado, and mint. So the cannellini beans are a great thing that you can serve whatever time of year. I actually made them in the Instant Pot, had some nice broth left over, or you can just use canned cannellini beans. With avocado, bit of a surprise. And a Muggsy too, he's always a surprise. So uh, with the uh, cannellini beans and the avocado, you're throwing in some mint, like a big handful of mint, some spring onions, uh, grated zest and fresh juice of a lemon, some extra virgin olive oil, of course, sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. And that is a very satisfying uh, salad to serve any time of year. And of course, you can also pair it with the asparagus. So I serve the asparagus and the cannellini beans with the roasted pork tenderloin. It made a fantastic meal. So two gourmet books for you this week, available at Russell Books, downtown on Fort Street in Victoria, or you can hit them up on russellbooks.com. When you go to the store, head to the right of the escalator and you'll see the Foodie Friday section there. It's got all my Foodie Friday selections from this week, last week, and next week's too. Look ahead. That's it for this week. I'm Don Genova. Bye for now.